Final preparations underway to mark Victory Day across Russia. In two days, it'll be 66 years since Soviet soldiers helped bring the Second World War to an end. A dress rehearsal of the main parade is happening in Moscow this morning. Thousands of soldiers, tanks, and anti-aircraft artillery will get their final practice ahead of the May 9th celebrations. Military helicopters and aircraft will also fly over the capital. But even decades on, amid the memories of victory, some secrets from the war remain hidden. As RT's Alexei Arashevsky reports. Anyone today can enjoy a good walk in this forest near the central Ukrainian town of Vinnytsia. The tranquility of the area masking what lurked here seven decades ago. These peaceful woods were once the site of a top secret and highly guarded Nazi command center, the werewolf bunker. It was a huge complex which had everything Germany's command could need. There was an officer's club, a sauna, a gym, a swimming pool and barracks. Some sources claim it went seven floors underground. Above the ground there were several wooden houses, including a casino. Adolf Hitler ordered the construction of this bunker to control the Nazi war effort on the Eastern Front. It is believed the Nazi leader himself was here three times, with his personal swimming pool thought to be about the only thing to remain intact at the site. The rest of the huge complex was destroyed in March 1944. This was believed to be the main entrance to the bunker, which was exploded by the retreating German forces. When the Soviet troops arrived, they went inside the facility and realized it was rigged with explosives. They took no chances and detonated the other two entrances, burying the werewolf's secrets forever. To this day, it is not known what remains underground, as no one has ever managed to get inside the Nazi-era facility after the war. Many attempts have been made since then to gain access but have failed. The walls are massively thick and the site is still subject to top secret classification. The director of the local military museum believes the complex was deliberately preserved to prevent any intrusion. The bunker was built by Soviet prisoners of war. That's why its blueprints don't differ from that of still functioning bunkers across the former USSR. Nobody will crack it open in the near future because it is still a classified facility. It may only be a pile of rocks, but now the local administration wants to turn the werewolf's ruins into a memorial to be opened in June this year. Over 14,000 Soviet people who had built and worked at the werewolf facility were slaughtered by the fascists. That is why we want to put a fence around it and make it a memorial to the victims of fascism to preserve their memory. Despite this being a seemingly patriotic idea, Ukraine's Communist Party is not too happy about it staging pickets to protest against the plan. The authors of this idea should be fired and have a criminal case launched against them. They are building a monument to Hitler, thus they are creating an official mecca for neo-fascist movements, which are thriving in Ukraine. The werewolf bunker has been a meeting place for right-wing skinheads in the past, as well as the target of endless speculation. Some claim it is radioactive, others say it is cursed, as all the campaigns commanded from here, notably the battles of Stalingrad and Kursk, led to crucial Nazi defeats. But 70 years on, the seemingly dull ruins of a top-secret shelter remain a continued source of public curiosity and mystery. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Vinnytsia in Ukraine.